birthday. I just wanted to ask, uh, obviously you're an amazing snowboarder. Um, at what moment did you really realize, hey, I'm good at this, you know, I want to continue with this? Hmm. I realized that when I was 15 and I entered one of my first professional contests and ended up winning it and winning a bunch after that and then winning X Games in the same year. So that's when I knew, I was like, okay, I can maybe do something with this. Go with this, yeah. something with this. So, I mean, did anyone in particular serve as inspiration to you or was, any, was there anyone that pushed you into doing this? Yeah, I have four older brothers and two of them were professional for a long time before I even started. So I used to go to the competitions and watch them and be like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. And I think I get a lot of my style from them because I, I you know, I watch them in video parts and yeah. they're a little bit older than me, so I was just a tyke. And, uh, yeah. So I mean, obviously you've become really familiar with snowboarding. I'm sure you're out there every day. Um, do you have any rituals that you do? Like any special things you do for competitions beforehand? Um, I definitely do some yoga and yeah. I eat a lot of organic food. Yeah. And um, I do a lot of visualizing and that helps me a lot. Just seeing the, you know, what I want to do before I do it over and over in, perfect, in perfection. So yeah. that helps me. Um, and just one last question. Um, what is your most memorable moment in your career thus far? My most memorable moment, there's been so many. Um, I probably would have to say the gold in Torino Olympics yeah. was the moment because I got to go on Letterman and Martha Stewart and Jimmy Kimmel and you know just go on all those talk shows and it was just a blast. Yeah. Well, thanks for sitting and talking with me. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Clarissa, for throwing me this party. Right. Fabulous.